Continuing coverage now on a teen swept away in the Gulf. Searchers are back on the beaches of Fort Morgan today. 17-year-old Jevin Lemke is presumed drowned, but his body has not been recovered. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Fort Morgan with an update on the recovery effort. Debbie. And Devin, uh, recovery efforts continue even at this hour. And take a look at the Gulf. You can tell that the conditions have certainly improved over the last 24 hours. They're concentrating their efforts in about a 400-yard area around No Name Road. If you're familiar with this area, that's about a mile from the end of the peninsula. Low and steady, a Coast Guard crew out of New Orleans rejoining the search for Wisconsin teenager Jevin Lemke, last seen in these waters Sunday. He got caught in the rip current. We got caught. We first. all did. And then he tried to help and got caught too. Rough weather hampered search efforts. Friday, the first day volunteers could get back in the water, in the air, and involve dogs in the search. But still, conditions are not ideal. It's real challenging when you have such a large body of water and you've got the current, you know, that's moving one way. Wind can be moving a different direction, so it's, it's a real challenge. While all this is going on, the family waits. Chris Lemke holding vigil for his son at the water's edge where he was last seen. Captain A.J. Anderson with the Fort Morgan Volunteer Fire Department is leading the search and stays in close contact with the Lemke family. The family's strong. Uh, the family's real strong. Uh, they're optimistic, um, just like we are. Um, we're doing everything we can. They know that. Uh, they want to take their child home. You know, we don't like to lose. We want to find them. And this is what they're dealing with as far as the visibility in the water. One diver telling us it was a lot like chocolate milk out there, although it is supposed to improve as the day goes on and into tomorrow, and the, the gulf continues to lay down. So the, the conditions should be even better tomorrow when the search continues for Jevin Lemke. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Fort Morgan, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on. Thank you, Debbie. Tomorrow, Jevin Lemke's mother will be on Dauphin Island to search for her son with volunteers. Anyone interested in helping with the search is asked to arrive at the island's water tower tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Volunteers will search in boats and along the beach. They'll be connected through an app, so if anyone finds anything, they can tag the location on Google Maps and alert local authorities.